Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking my channel. My name is Kevin Conscious Davis. You all know this is your boy with another video pre recorded. Uh, today, I just want to touch on the phase um, where people who feel like they are ready to begin their transition, things that they need to know, very important things that they need to know and very important things that they need to do prior to starting the transition journey. Okay, so first, like I already defined who's a trans man in my earlier videos, a trans man is a person who was born with female organs and female private parts, however that person feels like they were born in the wrong with the wrong gender or the wrong sex so therefore that person may want to live the opposite life so you were born a girl but then you feel like a boy and you mature into a man instead of mature into a woman however you still have the female body parts and you want to sync your mind with your body trans trans transition has two different ways to go about it there are persons who wants to be more masculine but they don't require any form of surgery. These are things that you need to look into before you just come out and say you're a trans man or whatever. Because for the most part, the trans men, not everyone requires surgery. But there are others who, like myself, who wants to do surgeries. So the body can be more masculine, presented or represented. So... For the persons who don't feel like they want to take um, testosterone, they there are exercises that they can do. There are things that they can do to make themselves more comfortable living the life that pleases that person, right? But for the persons who are going to do the testosterone, things you need to do before, you need to sit yourself down and find out if this is what you want because it is non-reversible even if you start taking the testosterone and you want to stop a year or two years later whatever changes your body had already undergone it will not be reversible two if you decide to do a top surgery and you remove your breasts both your breasts then you know that is also not reversible as for your menstrual cycle, the once you stop your menstrual cycle, uh, if you take the testosterone for a period of time, I would say over 18 months, the possibility of your menstrual cycle returning might not be so much of a issue because the female hormones would have already been put to sleep, I, I would say, like they're not active anymore. They're more like dormant. <coughs> It's good to have a talk with self before you start the transition to see if this is what you really want. If you're in a relationship, you need to talk to your partner to see if your partner is okay and if your partner understands what's going on and if the partner is going to support you on the journey. Uh, persons get into transition mood and they start because they're anxious, they want to be like their friends and they see their role models doing it and they get all excited. There are things that you need to know about your body before you start. If you're a person who's very aggressive, you may need to watch your tone and monitor your tone before you start transition and within the before you start taking the testosterone. And within the first six months of being on testosterone, you need to monitor yourself too. Things people need to know is that you're you're not gonna get a perfect body and look like a man who has never had a child or whatever. If you had given birth and there is baby fat or excess amount of weight and flesh on your body, it's going to take a lot of work on your own part. You have to work on yourself if you want to get the masculine look that you're looking for, that six pack and all of that is not going to come easily. You're going to have to put in a lot of work, do a lot of exercise. So I mean, I don't really care too much for my body size. I just want to see more facial hair coming out. I already stopped seeing my menses so that's a good thing from within the first two months I stopped seeing my menses so I'm good at that my body structure is much more masculine my voice is a lot more deeper so I've gotten a result where those are concerned for me now I'm just waiting on my surgeries because I might be doing more than one but 
people who want to keep that nice um we'll just say iconic figure look like a model or something i don't know you have to do a lot of work where that is concerned because the things you eat while you're in transition while you're transitioning while you're on the testosterone you have to be careful because you'll put on more weight than you lose some persons they lose weight while on testosterone some people gain weight it's not the testosterone that makes you lose or gain weight it's just your eating habits and if you're eating healthy so before I start my transition, I went and I spoke to my doctor. I told my doctor how I was feeling and I'm ready to make the steps because it's something that I have been feeling from I was a child. I knew that I was born the wrong gender and I just wanted to sink my body with my brain. When people see me, I don't want them to see a girl. I want them to see a man, full grown man. And that's why I'm sinking my brain with my body. So when I spoke to my doctor, my doctor said, okay, I'm going to send you to see a counselor to see, so you can talk to the counselor and the counselor can help you to make your decision or whatever. I already knew that was what I wanted, but I just followed the protocols for them to write um, the information and request the doctor, the next doctor, because my doctor, my personal doctor is not the one who I'm doing the transition process with or through. So she had to recommend me to somebody else. But then someone in the community, in the LGBTQ community, when I told the person that I think I want to start taking testosterone, um, the person told me they could recommend me to their doctor. As a matter of fact, I got two referrals from two persons in the community who were already patients with the doctor. So I went for my consultation. When I went for my consultation, I spoke to a social worker. They gave me a little inside of the side effects and all of that. What I can handle from what I can't handle, how to balance myself. So I'm saying this because some people are happy and excited to start the trans process and they never get a time to think about it. And they go to their doctors and the doctors just off the jump recommend medication and recommend that they start their shots their shots um, it's not supposed to be so fast it's not something that's supposed to be rushed talk to the doctor hear about the side effects make up your mind if this is what you really want before you start the process because like I say it's non reversible mm. yeah and once you get all of that done then they're supposed to do a blood test to see if um, your body can handle it, the changes. And then basically after that, you're good to go. So remember when you start transitioning, it's all about self-care. Within the first six months, you need to try and monitor yourself to the best of your ability. So that's my video for today. Not gonna be anything long. Just wanted to tell people, because a lot of people are watching my videos now and people are ready to start their transition. But just um, talk to your counselor, talk to your doctor before you get into it because it's non reversible. A lot of persons get into it and then they feel like they've made a mistake and then they start um, experiencing a lot of bipolar symptoms or depression. Some of them may even want to think about suicide. So it's all good. I'm good over here. Enjoying life and giving thanks. You have a wonderful day. Thanks.